This video is the first in a sequence where, following the successful trial insertion of the temporary wax base completed dentures, they are subjected to a process which involves making a two part mould called fasking. Other videos will continue the sequence and identify how we turn the dentures into acrylic dentures. To prepare for flasking, we'll require two flasks with individual metal buttons placed inside them, and both of these items will be lubricated with petroleum jelly. The completed dentures on their models should be soaked in water prior to flasking. We'll use a mixture of plaster of Paris to fill the lower portion of the denture flask. The denture models should be pushed down into the plaster. then it should be smoothed until it is level with the edges of the flask and left to set. Before the plaster sets fully, we can run the flask under the tap and use a brush to remove any excess, and then use a finger to achieve a final smooth finish. Repeat the process for the other arch. The plaster in the lower halves of the flasks is left to set. Prior to topping the flasks, we must remove the metal discs from their thicker sections. We use a separating agent, in this case sodium alginate, which is painted onto the plaster surfaces. Next, we must prepare a smooth mix of gypsum in the form of stone. This will provide a stronger, denser medium, which will be capable of withstanding the physical pressure of the packing process later on. Taking a small quantity of the material, we must work it into the wax surfaces around the artificial teeth in order to expel any excess air. Once the wax shapes are totally covered with the stone material, we can fill the deeper portions of the flask with it. As the material hardens, we can wash the flasks in order to leave things nice and clean. 